If you have poor circulation, here it is how to solve the problem. Poor circulation can be caused by various factors, such as sedentary lifestyle, smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, and peripheral artery disease. If left untreated, poor circulation can lead to serious health problems, including heart disease, stroke, and even amputation. Here are some tips on how to improve circulation. Exercise regularly. Exercise is one of the best ways to improve circulation. It helps to strengthen the heart, improve blood flow, and reduce inflammation. Some good exercises to improve circulation include walking, jogging, cycling, swimming, and yoga. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese puts extra pressure on the heart and blood vessels, which can lead to poor circulation. Losing weight through a healthy diet and regular exercise can help to improve circulation. Quit smoking. Smoking damages the blood vessels and reduces blood flow, which can lead to poor circulation. Quitting smoking is one of the most effective ways to improve circulation. Eat a healthy diet. A diet that is high in fiber, fruits, and vegetables can help to improve circulation. These foods are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that help to improve blood flow and reduce inflammation. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water helps to keep the blood thin and flowing smoothly, which can improve circulation. Elevate your legs. If you have poor circulation in your legs, elevating them can help to improve blood flow. Try propping your legs up on a pillow or footrest while sitting. Massage. Massaging the affected area can help to improve circulation. Use gentle circular motions and start from the extremities and work towards the heart. Compression stockings. Compression stockings can help to improve circulation in the legs by squeezing the veins and forcing blood back towards the heart. They can be purchased at a pharmacy or medical supply store. If you are experiencing poor circulation, it is important to talk to your healthcare provider to determine the underlying cause and the best treatment plan for you. In some cases, medication or surgery may be necessary to improve circulation.